Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these really cool candle holders out of items from Hobby Lobby and Walmart. I did have a request on Facebook for someone. They said um, that they did not have a Dollar Tree close, but they did have Walmart, a Michaels, and a Hobby Lobby. So, this is what I came up with. I hope you enjoy it. The candles on top are just basic candles that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I decorated them with foam hearts. Um, if you're going to do that, please do not light them as foam is flammable. So use battery powered LED lights if you're going to do that. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to put them together. Alrighty, so let us get started. You're going to need some of these little uh, wooden circle plaques. I got these at Hobby Lobby. They're the 5 inch ones. They were $2.99 and you get them in a 2 pack. And all I have done is I have painted them white with some plain white acrylic paint. I'll explain these holes here just in a second. You're also going to need some dowel rods. I got this pack of eight dowel rods at Walmart. Ooh, they are made of real wood, except no imitation. Made of real wood, you get two of each different diameter in the pack. And then I got this pack of uh, little styrofoam hearts here. These came, ooh, get in the camera, dummy. This came from Walmart. They're like these little hanging styrofoam ornament type deals. You get six of them for $2.84. They look like that. They are so cute. So you get six for $2.84. You're also going to need some type of glue. I suggest wood glue, but I cannot find my wood glue right now. So I'm going to be using hot glue and I do use Gorilla Brand glue sticks. They are really good for gluing wood together. So I'm okay that I don't have actual wood glue. I'll just use this. If you want to, now you don't have to if you trust your, your gluing capabilities, but for me, I drilled a hole in each one of these, so if you do that, then, then, of course, you're going to need a drill. But, you know, if you don't have a drill, or you don't want to do that, you know, then just glue them down. There's not really going to be a lot of pressure on these, you know, I mean, it's just a candle. But anyway, I wanted to make mine a little bit more sturdy, so I took the dowel rod, you know, uh, this one was like the quarter inch in diameter dowel rod, got a quarter inch drill bit, just drilled a hole so that, you know, this could fit down in there. And I'm going to glue it in as well. Let's see. I think that's all that you need. Oh, something to trim your dowel rods with. Of course, I use my trusty wire cutters that I use for everything. And that is it. So basically, all that you do is you take a dowel rod. And I've already got this one started. And you just take your styrofoam hearts and you push them onto the dowel rod. So I'm trying to see if I want to do white, red, or white. And I'm thinking, now that I look at it... I'm thinking that um, it may look better if I do two red and one white. So yeah, I'm going to push that up there. And a little trick here is, because I have made something similar to this before, if you've been following my blog for a while, I made something similar with other shapes that weren't hearts. And as I, I push them down onto the dowel rod, it's like the, the end broke off. It cracked and broke off. So if you take something... I'm just going to use a paintbrush and just go down in the end of it and just kind of pave the way for your dowel rod before you actually press the dowel rod into it. It, it helps a little bit so that uh, the ends don't go, you know, and and break off. And then, you know, you're sad and you're going to cry because, you know, it, it just didn't work for you. But if you do that, it helps a little bit. So I'm going to slide these to the end and then I just take the heart and then I just slide it onto the dowel rod. And, you know, I didn't want to make a video of me, you know, drilling holes and painting and all that. Because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to not bore y'all to death. So, let us just press this. And I don't want to, try to not put too much pressure. See, a little bit of it came off, but it's okay. You can't really see it. That looks okay. So, then I'm going to take this. And I want to put just a little, little bit of glue down in this hole here. And then I'm going to take the dowel rod and just insert that into the hole just like that. And just press it down in there. I'm going to hold it for a few seconds. This is exciting, right? Watching me glue stuff. Watching me glue things. So just let that sit like that. Okay, I'm sorry for the weird camera angle. I'm, I'm working on getting um, some more camera set up, different camera setups here. So, uh, Y'all can see things better. And now I'm going to check this end. I think that'll be just fine. That looks 
It looks, I'm, like I said, sorry for the weird camera angle. Yeah, that looks okay. I could put like a bow or something on top, maybe. I don't know. So this is what we have. Went for this glue to get hard before I really go any further. But, yep, just like that. So I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking I need to trim off just a little bit more of this. Whoopsie. See, like I said, I use wire cutters for everything. Hey, they're sharp. <laughs> they work. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little bit of glue into here. I'll try to tip this over to the side so that y'all can see it better. See, and now that is touching the top of that heart there. So now I'm just going to, well, see, this is what we have so far. Now I'm just going to set this up over here and let the glue harden, and that's all that you do, basically. You just <laughs> run the dowel rod through the center of your hearts. You can make it as tall as you want or as short as you want. Just use one heart if you want to. Use one or two. It doesn't matter. Run the dowel rod through them. Glue to your little white centerpiece here. And that is what you have. So pretty simple although it's not from Dollar Tree you know as someone had had said on Facebook that you know they can't always get to a Dollar Tree but they did have a Walmart close and you know did I have any ideas for any Walmart crafts and you know that's that that's the idea that I had for a Walmart craft so you know I hope it helped you there we are so if you would please give this video a thumbs up click subscribe check me out on other forms of social media I'll put the links to all of those in the description box down below and I hope to see y'all next time bye bye